Sirts was a brand of breath mints introduced in 1956. Sirts is a candy mint. Sirts is a breath mint. Stop. You're both right. New Sirts is two mints in one. Sirts was introduced by the American Chiclay Company, and this was a scientist named Thomas Adams. Eighty years before Sirts was introduced, he founded the American Chiclay Company after inventing chewing gum. If he kissed you once, will he kiss you again? Be certain with Sirts. The candy mint that stops bad breath. Candy mint. Breath mint. Sirts is two. Two. Two mints in one. He was actually working on making a rubber that you could use to patch a tire and instead found that if you put a little sugar in it, it tasted delicious and was fun to chew. So he created his first product called New York Chewing Gum. Certs were similar to breath savers or life savers. They were round, they were a disc, no hole in them, and they were sold in a pack. The name Certs is short for certified by good housekeeping here at the Good Housekeeping Research Institute in New York City, where thousands of products are tested every year, from waterproof boots, to vacuum cleaners, to how well your cell phone survives being dropped. It's a lot of work rating all these products. Only a small percentage get the coveted Good Housekeeping seal of approval. Certs were classified as mints, but technically they weren't because they didn't contain any oils of the mint plant. The mint oil is stored on the underside of these leaves, there's little glands or sacklets. Certs had a trademark ingredient called Retsin. Only Certs has lively fresh flavor and a glistening drop of Retsin. This was made by combining copper gluconate, partially hydronated cottonseed oil, and flavoring. In the 60s and 70s, Certs was very famous for an ad campaign where two people would argue as to whether Certs was a breath mint or a candy mint. Breath mint! Oh, candy mint! Breath mint! Ugh. Candy mint! This was parodied on numerous television shows. Uh, don't use my name like some sort of a curse oh, video in your mouth. Crosstalk me. has been brought to you by Certs. It's a breath mint! Candy mint! It's a breath mint! It's a candy mint! Certs would say that they were two, two, two mints in one. They had a big fight before they left Meepo. Something about whether Certs is really two, two, two mints in one. <laughs> In 1999, the U.S. Customs Service officially designated it as a candy and not a mint. Now, this was a big deal for tariff purposes because candy mints were taxed differently than oral hygiene products. A court battle ensued, and the parent company of certs at that time was Cadbury. Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate embraces substantial nourishment, enjoyment, and that great Cadbury taste. Cadbury brought forward a scientist who pointed out that this did work to freshen your breath. Certs had ingredients that would produce extra saliva that would cause you to swallow away your bad breath, and then the flavors and oils in the certs would then flavor your mouth and keep your whole mouth minty fresh. However, the courts ruled that there were no antibacterial ingredients in it, and it was simply a candy mint. This was overturned by the Court of Appeals, and they officially established certs as a breath mint. If you mention those breath mints one more time, I'm going to scream! Breath mints? Breath mints? Breath mints! And they made great gifts. Just ask Homer Simpson. Your president's right in the other room. Here you go, Lenny. May the spirit of Retson be with you all year long. In 1988, they introduced mini mints that were designed to compete directly with Tic Tacs. If you're tired of little mints that are made with sugar, now there's a choice. New from Certs, the only little mint that's sugar-free. And then in the 1990s, when Altoids became very popular, they introduced their own version called Cool Drops. Cool new box, cool mint drops. Outside, cool, clean, and fresh tasting. Inside, a sparkling drop of Retson for fresh, clean breath that really lasts. Certs introduced a gum that they called the kissing gum, and they had this promotional apron. Kiss the chef indeed. Do you remember the movie Weird Science? You know, it's not a bad idea. What? Making a girl. Actually making a girl. This is Wyatt and Gary. Something's about to change their world. Something out of this world, it's all in the name of science. Weird science. Well, they did a weird science inspired certs commercial. Certs. 
Zert's candies taste so intense, you'll see great purple. Hear fruit punch, Zert's punch. and feel wild cherry. And they have resin to help sweeten your breath. I love this. This is a promotional item, a Webster's Dictionary. Of course, there were some wacky packages. I like this one for scents. Swallow a scent, cough up a dollar. And this one for garlic-flavored nerds, which takes your breath away forever. It's a breath mint. It's a candy mint. No, you're both wrong. Nerds is a piece of garlic. Well, I had this heavy date, so I went to buy some certs. Certs? <laughs> yeah, I want to make out with my chick Henrietta, like that dude does on TV. You know, click. <laughs> If she kissed you once, will she kiss you again? Be certain with certs. Delicious candy mint, perfect breath mint. Certs is two, two, two mints in one with red. Certs is also mentioned on the Beavis and Butthead record. I actually have the picture disc of this one. Look at that. Let's take this over and put it on the turntable so Beavis can tell you he doesn't like certs. I don't like certs very much though. <laughs> he didn't say certs. <laughs> he said search. Certs with Retson. <laughs> Two mints in one. <laughs> I remember these Velaments. This was another brand. These were square and they kind of had like an indent on them. Super strong flavor. When I was growing up, the coolest kids had one of these and you would spray that in your mouth before you talked up any Dana. <laughs> Certs was quietly discontinued in 2018. The government had banned the use of partially hydronated cottonseed oil in food products. A doctor warned today that cottonseed oil contains a chemical called gossipol in men and can cause testes to shrink and lead to infertility, and in women and can disrupt the menstrual cycle. This was one of the major ingredients in Retsin, and since the market had become so crowded with Altoids, breath savers, and other things, it wasn't worth redoing the recipe for search. Everyone may have their own individual taste, but certs is the taste everyone can agree on because fresh breath speaks for itself. And how about this thing? I'd love to own this. This is fantastic. I couldn't fill it with certs though because they go for a pretty penny on eBay. Okay, last night my best friend and I went to this little party. We were looking good. However, there were two of us, one of her, and only one certs. <gasps> so I did what any good friend would do. I got the fresh, clean breath. Hey. Hey. And I let him have all the onion dip. Look at this. A box of certs will run you $589. Look at this one. Extra flavor. It's got like a little raccoon valentine on it. Oh, man. Look at this. Cinnamon flavored classic mints. Man, that looks good. Best of use by 2014. I imagine they taste exactly the same. Does Retson go bad? Once my mother and I went to lunch. When I opened my purse to pretend like I might pay the check, a roll of certs tumbled out. Who is he, she asked. It's always surprising and kind of sad when a, a brand name that has been around your whole life and was always a big part of culture has kind of faded away. Certs is one of those, I didn't know it disappeared. I mean, it's been years now, I didn't even notice. If they had those displays, though, those things were great. That thing looked like a giant certs on the counter with little certs within it. That's a that's a smart design. That reminds me of the Legs Egg, which was probably the best design I've ever seen. They would build this giant nest with all these Legs Eggs, and Legs was a type of pantyhose, and they could put this in any grocery store. Because the thing was, when Legs first came out, pantyhose were only sold in department stores and they were like no we're going to sell them at your convenience store your grocery store your stationery store every store uh, that's a wild story i researched all in on legs and i'm going to put that video right up here otherwise youtube says this is what is best for you you can choose either one i'm in both i'll see you next time